So I'm making risotto and I want you to, if you can, look at the little grains of rice. Risotto rice grains are ideally short and plump like me. And what I've done so far is I have softened some onion and now I'm gonna skin some oil, olive oil and butter. I'm gonna add my rice and let that get a little bit of the olive oil and butter too. It helps it plump up in the right way, but you don't add any liquid for a little bit. Okay, it's supposed to do it for about a minute, but hey, we're on TV. Okay, at this point, we add some bell pepper. Whoops, goodbye, I'll worry about it later. A little bit of corn, because this is a corn risotto. Most of the corn will get added at the end, but I want some corn at this point. And a little wine, white wine. Oh, listen to that. Okay, and now we add, this is something that's important with risotto. You have a little bit of uh, stock on the, on the stove that's warm. And as you can see from the little bits of corn, I actually put my corn cobs in there. It could be chicken stock, which is what I'm using, or vegetable stock. It could be homemade, or it could be bought. Now, the interesting thing about risotto is, you know, regular rice, boil the rice in the water, cover, turn down, wait however long it takes. This rice you do not cover, and you do not put all the liquid in at once. That might be even a little too much liquid, but that's all right. And what you do is you let it boil off a little at a time, stirring fairly frequently, but not constantly. And then I'm gonna add more liquid and more liquid and more liquid, and I'll, I'll be back and show you later. So my risotto is about halfway through here. If I were to taste it, I actually did just taste it. What I taste is kind of mostly hard rice, but it's getting there. And this is a very forgiving recipe. So as long as you stir it from time to time, and make sure it doesn't stick and add a little bit of liquid at a time. It will do its thing. So here I am adding a little bit more liquid. And in the middle, I might add some of my corn. I'm adding most of the corn at the end, but this is just to give it more corn flavor, make it prettier. If I added all the corn, then it would keep the rice from doing its work. So I actually have this on fairly low heat so it doesn't stick. But you can see, I watch for it to pool up, and if it's still pooling up, I'm fine. If it dries out, then I add more liquid. So I will be back in a little while when it's almost done. So we're back, and the risotto is just about done. It may be a little too liquidy, but it will absorb that liquid. Now, the weird part is the risotto, as I said earlier, or I should have, tells you when it needs more liquid, and it also tells you when it's done. So what you do is you taste a little bit. Mmm, it should still have some texture. You don't want it wet, but it does this thing with it's basically creaming. It's delicious. Now at this point, I'm gonna add more wine, corn. It is a corn risotto after all, but you don't want the corn to break down completely. So that's why we saved some, a little bit of parsley and a little bit of butter. When I say a little bit, a nice big chunk. And some Parmesan cheese or Romano or whatever your favorite Italian cheese is. We just stir that in and that's it. Then when you're done, I'm going to put it in a bowl to show you in a minute. You can also taste it and see whether you think, to tell you the truth, it shouldn't need too much salt because my stock had salt in it. The cheese is salty. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Good. It looks delicious. So I'm gonna put it in a little dish. And then I should stir in this, the, the, the butter, but we'll pretend. You can see the cheese kind of stringing. Oops, get closer. I don't wanna lose any of it. Well, we'll stop now because you got the general idea, but. Then I like to put a little, either parsley or look, I have these little tiny basil leaves. Basil looks just beautiful and tastes really nice with corn. 
Sometimes I just roll pesto, roll corn and pesto. There we go. And that is our yummy, yummy, yummy corn risotto. Bye.